five tips for every white belt out there. <clears throat> First, number one, leave your ego at the door. No matter what's in your head, leave it outside. If you want to be the toughest, leave it outside. If you want to destroy everybody, leave it outside. See, that ego, as much as it is a survival mode for all of us, and we need it as humans, in jiu-jitsu, we, we, we got to let go of that ego. We, we got to learn new things. And unfortunately, at the white belt level, when we are starting that journey, we will be proven wrong over and over and over and over again, and we will be destroyed. We will be smashed. People will put pressure on us, and we will fail. Unfortunately, we will fail over and over and over. The good news is that failure will convert into our success, into our growth, because this is what will allow us to um, grow, allow us to make changes, and allow, allow us to make adjustments, allow us to become better jiu-jitsu practitioners. So leave your ego at the door. Two, don't quit. Don't quit. Jiu-jitsu is not hard. It's complex. It's not hard. And again, people will smash you. They will put way down. They will submit you over and over and over. Do not quit. No matter what you do, you got to stick it out. Because after a few years, that jiu-jitsu is going to convert into the biggest passion of your life. And you're going to stick with it all the way to the black belt. Unfortunately, part, unfortunate part is that 99% of people quit. And they don't quit because they don't love it. Uh, honestly, I'm yet to meet a person who would tell me this is not for me. However, somehow, somehow, that difficulty, that struggle, that grind converts into, I don't want to do this anymore. Perhaps my priorities are not the same. This is not as important to me. So don't quit, no matter what. You won't regret it as time goes on. Keep that in mind. White belt is a black belt who never, well, hello, black belt is a white belt who never quit. I almost messed that one up. Number three. Focus on basics. Jiu-Jitsu is so broad. I mean, we talk about tens of thousands of techniques, thousands of concepts, positions. I mean, it's so broad, so large, it, it, it's enormous. Focusing on basics is the most important, especially in the beginning. Especially with today, with having distractions from our phones, our TVs, our instructionals available everywhere, focus on basics. Basics will not only set you for success, but also give you the core foundation of what you need in the future. So by getting distracted, you just not focus on what's necessary. And then often points of frustration will come in. It is so unfortunate that often you will see um, individuals who train for just a couple months and they know how to do bear and bolos and, and fancy De La Hiva sweeps, but they do not know how to stop the guard from getting past. It, it, stick to basics, stick to foundation, talk to your instructors, they will tell you the same thing. Number four, white belt is the lower belt in the rank system in jiu-jitsu. We want to chase the blue. Oh, we desire to be the purple. We look up to the brown and we respect the black. However, chasing the belt puts us in the mindset of, hmm, well, often it puts us in the mindset of doing too much and, 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 and driving hard and, and doing fancy things and really point of distraction and often introduces points of disappointment, like when our peers get promoted and we didn't. Often that is a point of and reason why people quit jiu-jitsu. I should have had that. I tapped that guy out. I should be the blue, but and turn us into a very negative personality, it's very negative attitude. Don't chase the belt. Hicks and Gracie said, belt only takes up two inches around your ass. Why would you worry about the color? There was some truth behind that. I think belts are important. They are important recognition for what we've done and how we do things. However, we should not chase them. We should embrace them as a recognition for the hard work not necessarily as a goal to achieve as we train jiu-jitsu. And last final one, number five, probably the most important one, in my mind at least, have fun. I know, it's stupid, but it's important. The moment jiu-jitsu becomes work, hard, hard work, we are not going to want to do it. 
we're going to find every excuse not to show up at the academy. We're going to find every excuse not to train, not to drill, not to put the grind in. Have fun. Jiu-Jitsu is supposed to be fun. Make it fun. There are different ways of engaging from the fun and entertaining perspective, but make it fun. Make it fun. Don't make it hard. Life is already hard. Don't make it harder by making jiu-jitsu miserable. Keep on training. Peace.